I left my high paying DevOps job to become a full time freelancer. And since I last uploaded a freelancing video, there have been so many messages and questions from you guys on how to start freelancing. Is freelancing in DevOps possible? How much can you earn? What are different freelancing platforms? And many others. So in this video, I'm going to answer all your questions and help you get started with your freelancing journey. So like this video and comment freelancing to get started. Hey everyone and welcome to CloudChamp. If you have been following me on LinkedIn or YouTube, you might already know that I work as a DevOps freelancer. And it's been months since I left my full-time job. To be honest, it's really fun. I get to work with amazing companies on interesting projects that I like to work on. But the best part is I can work whenever I want from anywhere and the money is good too. So if you're someone who also wants to start their freelancing journey, this video is for you because in this video, I am going to cover some important topics or questions that you need to know about freelancing. So make sure to watch this video till the end. The first question that people ask me a lot and I want to address is, is freelancing in DevOps possible? Do companies hire freelancers for DevOps work? And this is a very valid question because you might have heard about freelancing for video editing or graphic designing or logo designing, but freelancing in DevOps was not so common earlier, but now it is. Because there might be some companies who have very small team, so they will hire a DevOps freelancer on contract basis to do all their DevOps tasks. Or maybe there might be a company who wants to automate their infrastructure or set up CI3 pipeline or do monitoring. So there are many DevOps tasks that you can do as a DevOps freelancer. These are some of them. Another question that people ask me a lot is how to get started with freelancing. And to answer this, let me tell you how I started my freelancing journey. So I have been doing freelancing for a quite time now, about five to six years. I started with freelancing when I was in 12th grade, providing graphic designing services, which didn't work out because I didn't have any skill related to graphic designing. Uh -oh. Later on, when I learned cloud computing, I started freelancing again, this time providing AWS services, helping people with website hosting and their cloud configuration. So if you want to become a successful freelancer, the first step to start with your freelancing journey is to get a skill. Companies will only hire you if you have skills. And if you want to become a successful freelancer, start with getting a skill. Here are some of the top high paying skills that you can learn and start your freelancing journey. And these are all the generic ones, but most of you are DevOps engineers. So you need to learn the skills that you want to provide or that you want to sell. I already have many videos created on how you can become a DevOps engineer or different skills that you can learn as a DevOps engineer. So go ahead, learn those skills and then you can start with your freelancing journey. The first step is to get a skill. So now let me tell you why I started freelancing or what was my motivation to get started with freelancing. So back then when I was learning DevOps, I could only practice what the instructor had in the Udemy course, but I wanted something more, some real world industry experience. And there were no good projects on YouTube like you have now. So I created accounts on different freelancing platforms to get work and do hands-on practice. Most of you also had a doubt on where to start freelancing, what are some good freelancing platforms. And to answer this, there are many good freelancing platforms, but for beginners, I would recommend Upwork and Fiverr. I started with these two freelancing platforms and I still use them today. So you can sign up on both of them and start providing your services and make money. Now let me quickly show you how these two platforms work starting with Upwork.com. So this is Upwork.com, the first freelancing website that we talked about. On this platform, people or company are going to put the task that they want to be done. And as a freelancer, you can review the task. If you think you have the skills to do it and the price is good, you can go ahead and apply for it. So. When you apply for it, you need to send a proposal. You can see this job has less than five proposal and it was posted 20 years ago. So if you think you have the skills like AWS integration, app configuration, Docker, Kafka, Lambda, you can click on it and apply for it and send your proposal. 
let's say you don't have the skills for this you have a skill in particular skill set let's say docker so you can just search for docker and you will see all the tasks related to that particular technology this jobs want you to have backend developer uh, preferably in egypt so we don't need to do it you can also see the payment is verified but the rating is too low so try to avoid people who have low ratings or people who have spent very less because th these are usually scammers who who let you do the task but don't pay you so only look for people who have payment verified and who have good ratings uh, for example like this so this person is asking for aws terraform and eks developer this job was posted 8 hours ago and they have spent around 20k for this task 50 plus proposals have been spent so you can still try to send it but there are very less chances of you getting accepted because there are 50 plus proposals less proposals means higher chances of you getting selected let's say you want to do this task so you can click on it you can click on apply now option here once you click on apply now this is a page where you submit your proposal in this page you can select how much is your rate so it can be ten dollars it can be hundred dollars whatever you like uh, you will receive ninety dollars ten dollars will be the fee for, for upwork next in the cover letter you can define why you are the right person you can mention your certifications if you have any you can mention your past experience of doing similar kind of project you can also attach your portfolio or your resume and then once you do it you can submit your proposal a buyer is going to review it if he thinks you are the right person he'll contact you and then you can start doing your work and get paid just remember whenever you submit a proposal for a task to an upper client you only need to mention necessary details no need for extra useless details in your proposal you only need to put the details that can convince the buyer that you are the right person that can do the task you can include in notifications if you have any you don't need to mention anything that is not relevant for the job there are also many people who have asked me if degree is required for freelancing and that's the best part nobody cares about your degree you don't require a degree to become a freelancer if you can convince a buyer or you can do the job then you can make money now let's check out another great freelancing platform which is fiverr this is fiverr.com another great freelancing platform where freelancers put their gigs gigs are services that they offer for example you can see this is one freelancer which provides youtube editing skills for 30 dollars this is another one who is going to develop android and ios application for 200 dollars similar to this you can create gigs according to your skill set so if you're someone who knows aws who knows kubernetes who knows docker you can create gigs defining that i know aws i know docker so if any buyer who needs your services will search for it on fiverr and if your profile pops up he will contact you he will get you the task and then you can do it so this is how you can create a gig in this gig you need to fill in all the details of what you can do what category does it fall in what tags do you want so that the it can come up in search and lot more this is how you can create a gig once you create a gig a buyer can reach out to you he can give you the task you can do the task and get paid sounds easy right right no with so many people already on these freelancing platforms there is a cutthroat competition there will always be someone who knows more than you or someone who can do the task for lesser price so it's very difficult for people to get orders on these freelancing platform i remember not getting any orders for months after i created my accounts so i have to do some task for very less price or even free so how can you solve this or how can you get your first freelancing client to get a first freelancing client there are a few tips whenever you submit proposals on upwork make sure it is concise to convince the buyer if you have no idea on how to create proposals you can use chat gpt or any ai tool but make sure you don't sound like an ai because buyer will get to know this is written by ai and not a real human so you can get reference but don't completely rely on chat gpt similarly if you create gigs on fiverr you should make sure that the seo is done correct for reference you can choose the highly ranked gigs you can check out their description you can check out their title and also create similar kind of gigs you can copy paste if you want to on the other hand i would recommend you creating a strong freelancing portfolio where you mention all your projects that you can share with your proposals or you can add to your gigs 
so that buyer can get to see your work and this will increase your chances of getting your first freelancing client. Apart from this, you can also cold email or cold message on LinkedIn. These are some of the things that I tried myself. Once you get your first freelancing client, make sure you do the work nicely and get good reviews. Now I get four to five messages every day on Fiverr because I have hundreds of reviews on my profile. So getting a review will help you a lot. Another very common and interesting question that probably everyone has is how much can you earn as a freelancer? To be honest, there is no limit. There is no limit to how much money you can earn. It all depends on the amount of work you put in and the type of projects you take. I am friends with people who earn lakhs in months, even in days sometime. So there is no limit. You can earn as much as you can. Depend. One last question before we end this video is, as a fresher, should I start freelancing or not? Oh, uh, no. If you ask me, I don't recommend freshers to go all in freelancing. You can do it passively on the side, but I don't recommend you going all in freelancing unless you have a stable income coming in. Also, if you're doing freelancing on passively, make sure you're learning new things and you are upgrading your skills rather than being stuck with just few skills. My reason of not recommending you going all in freelancing is because as a fresher, you will have only few set of skills and you can only take projects which are very, very low. So better than you going all in, gain some skills, learn skills. And then once you have good amount of skills, you can do freelancing full time. With that being said, this is the end of our freelancing video. I hope this video was informative. If you found this video helpful, please like this video, subscribe to CloudSham and I wish you best luck for your freelancing journey. Bye.